Mono Black Crimes is a really sweet deck taking advantage of Karavak the Punisher. The more crimes you commit, the more cards you can use back from your graveyard. Check out how we're going to double down with milling the opponent and using this binding negotiation targeting the opponent's hand, stripping away any more answers that they have. What's going on, Dragonauts? Astral Slammer tapping out to talk about Mono Black Crimes from OKI Scoop. But just like I'm tapping out, you should tap that subscribe button to stay updated on all the new standard decks coming out for the Outlaws of Thunder Junction meta. And also tap that button down below for the link up into the AM, where you can use code ASTRAL10 to save 10% off your order, getting sweet craft teas, basic teas, and three packs and six packs. Looking as awesome as this Blossom Dragon one that I am wearing right now. With that, let's get to talking about what we want to do with this list. We have two key cards that make crimes work. First off, Gisa the Hellraiser. Gisa is going to let you start making zombies as you commit a crime. This always only trigger once per turn. However, she does give the benefit of your zombies getting plus one plus one in Menace. So committing a crime on your turn and your opponent's turn will continue to make these zombies your value engine going and you're going to be able to swing in on your following turn with at least four zombies. Probably more if you've gotten your other committing crime on your turn. The only problem is that they come into play tap. I don't recommend. Either way, Giza is fantastic for this, and she comes with a built-in ward that is self-protection. Our second option here for getting value out of our list is Caravac the Punisher. Three mana, three, three, right? No inherent way to self-protect. However, as we are committing crimes, we can exile a target black card from our graveyard, make a copy of it by paying two life and casting and paying the mana cost. So that is going to let us effectively double up on all the spells we've cast in this game in a mono black deck, right? We have numerous ways of committing crimes. We're going to be targeting our opponent's hand. We're going to be targeting their creatures. We're going to be targeting their graveyards. We're even targeting their land, right? Targeting the graveyard. Lord Skidder is going to be fantastic for this. Exiling a card from your opponent's graveyard, getting that in. We also have Tiny Bones the Pickpocket. Another great way of targeting your opponent's graveyard and committing a crime. On the opponent's hand, we've got Deep Cavern Bat along with the Binding Negotiation. Either going to choose to exile a card or forcibly discard a card as well. Creature side, we've got the similarities. Go for the Throat, Long Goodbye, and Cut Down all coming in and being there and ready to go. Lastly, to target the lands, Field of the Rune. They can't have non-basic lands. We only want them running basics anyways. Let's tax them out. So all these ways of committing crimes are going to bring together the synergy of Karavek for repeated use, Gisa for developing your board state, and even going as far actually as to buff your Vadmir, new blood, right? For every crime you commit, Vadmir gets a plus one plus one counter on it. So you are developing board, you're attacking your opponent's stuff, and you're even making a larger creature out of it too. The deck does feature some cool ways of self-protection, actually since a lot of our creatures are legendary, we get to take advantage of Plaza of the Heroes on this list as an effective way to keep either Gisa or Karavek alive. Uh, maybe down to the wire if Shieldred needs to live too, but nonetheless, it's still a really effective way. So, there you go. What do you want to do? You want to tax them? You want to commit some crimes? You want to make value? Committing crimes is the new way to play in this game. Dragonauts, this is Mono Blocks. Oh, Criming with by OK Ice Scoop. Please enjoy the games. Uh, we're definitely taking the play. You know, I I do like this hand. Tiny Bones on one is great. We can negotiation. If I see Mono Red, I don't think I'm casting negotiation. This is Pirates. Oppo was playing the pirate deck. We're gonna deep cavern bat here. Gleaming Drake, Legion Extruder. Oh, those are good. Uh, I think I have to take the Legion Extruder. Could attack it in. If we get the trade, it's kind of. Yeah. Center Scout. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's see all the things gonna try. So Legion Extruder comes in, takes the other. Like that was always gonna happen, no matter what. I do think I want a binding negotiation here. Get rid of the Gear Drake. Cast in Tiny Bones. Well, 3 mana 2 2 survive. Yep. Yeah, it's true. 
The downside here is the uh, second extruder kills our tiny bones, but I, yeah. I don't know. I think with opponent's hand, we are always going to be in a detriment. What's this do? Damage equal to the number of artifacts? There's Gisa. Okay. We can still get things rolling. You're fine, Mike. You're fine. Who's ready for three years of Tiny Bones? I am actually okay with three years of Tiny Bones. Seeing these cards for the next few years, I'm, I'm okay with. There's some very cool stuff. If you would create one or more map to tokens in general. Oh, that's cool. I'll put like big time on that. That's fine. Okay, Tiny Bones joins up. Command of Prime. Not a fan of Tiny Bones, Mike? Oh, I love Tiny Bones. I think Tiny Bones is great. Come on. Discard. So annoying. Like, it's a 1-1. One, one. Eventually, you have to kill it in some way, shape, or form. Is he competitive? I... It still remains to be seen. Like, it's a 1-mana one 1-1. One, one. Is it good? Yeah, there's good text on it. It's, it's great in Commander. I could definitely see it having slotted place in decks and sticking it around. I definitely could. Uh, Oppo? Disconnect? Question mark? Tiny Bones is straight busted? I don't know about straight busted. It's it's a good support card. Rather than just an annoying card? Support card more than a great card? I'd agree with that, Scoop. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Okay, if we get a land off the top, I can play this Gisa and we can start going places. But I'm still forcing that discard down. Oppo disconnect, maybe? Alright. Uh, cool. Is Skull Clamp... Yeah, I would agree with that, Lefty. Yes. Skull Clamp is... Skull Clamp straight busted. I would certainly agree with that. So we're gonna have to sit up. And keep my posture straight. Reanimated is busted? I, uh, I mean, it's a one mana bring back anything. Yeah. It's a one one for one with nothing but upside. Well, yeah, it's a one mana one one with upside, but still. Mental misstep. Yes. Ytaxian Probe. Yes, Mike. I would agree with those. <laughs> Mental misstep was definitely a mistake. I will I will certainly agree for that. Okay, go to 18. And I have a land. No, it's not a land. We can care back at least. Uh, make the opponent lose a life and a card. I can't cast anything. I don't have the mana. It's just not worth it. Notably, it doesn't say cast for free, but we mill them. All I need is a land. All I need is a land. All I need is a land. Yeah, I, like, one land makes all the difference for us here. It's so sad. I'm still milling you. One land. That's all I need. One land. Stuck in four. Like, as soon as we get a fifth land, Gisa pops off and, like, we, we go to places. You do run 26. It's true. In fairness, I've just had issues in the last couple hours with lands tonight. It's... Okay, we're gonna top deck and land. It's gonna be fine. Problem frickin' solved. There we go. We're back in it now, chat. We're back in it now. Bowmaster, Bowmaster is also insane. This is true. Should have filled a ruined yours. Save the Mirax. I'm not going to target the Mirax right now. I'll target it next turn. I gotta deal with golems at the moment. 
The nice thing is I at least can block a golem and kill the siren. But I need more stuff to commit crimes. Oh, great. They have the ward. Fantastic. Like, any time we hit that land drop soon. <laughs> any time we hit that land drop soon. Come on, pay the two. There you go. I, yeah, we we'll lose game one. Well, I think the matchup was fine. Like, I didn't hit a land drop for three turns in a row. <laughs> I'm, I think it was fine. I don't think you had anything against. I don't think we're going to play Go for the Throats, though. I would like to play more of the Binding Negotiations, and I think some Duresses. Because apparently I just need to focus on discarding their stuff. So we're going to bring in four Duresses for Binding Negotiations. And I'll play the Long Goodbye. And we can do that. Sure, this looks fine. Tiny bones, skitter, make the army go face. We're good. I like it. We're about to make our comeback. It's gonna happen. I can feel it. It's gonna happen. I'm starting the siren. Okay. Because you had a second siren? Yeah. There's a Shelly. That's the turn. The old one minute legendary enchantment. Yeah, we're gonna just take the one. Minute. Magda? Haha! -ha. It's unfortunate for you, opponent. Magda is no more. We're gonna grab Lord Skitter. Mill a card. Sweet. Uh, I will grab the Vision Extruder here. And we can play Shielder next turn. So that's cool. We could also try to dump in the Deep Cavern map, but I think I like Shelly more. So Wedic Glyph, eh? Uh, no blocks. Well, so Wedic Glyph is a little unfortunate. There is game two. I don't know why for the concede though, because like you just attack him with the Zoetic Glyph and I am kind of forced to block with Shelly. But that's fine. Uh, yeah, let's roll in. We'll uh, go game three. Well, I'll do a quick stretch and we'll see what happens. Uh, we have been going for nine hours. Well, three minutes under nine hours. But... We're getting there. We're getting there. It's been a good day today. Kind of like John Link's games, yeah. I, we take, I mean, a win's a win. I think I just keep. Get two more lands. We have Gisa to start doing some stuff. We have Vladimir. Sorry, Vladimir. I have a bad habit of saying Vlad and there's no L in that name. Are good for just Yeah, absolutely are. Uh, Caravex nice. Grounds? Okay. Sure. Uh, a second Takenuma is not what I had envisioned here. I think I just hold up Go for the Throat. Mountain? Cool. Swamp. Pass the turn. I got no reason to play Alcara back here. Deccan and Dragon? Yeah, that's unfortunate. Those two cards? Sure. That's unfortunate. Geological Appraiser? Alright. And do a Scrap Gorger. Uh, sure. I just want to blow up the proving ground here. Or do I want to hold back? Um, I'm going to take out the scrap order, actually. I feel the run nice. 
Uh, let's play Takayuma. I'll cast out Badmir here. Last the turn. Go for the throw, kill the appraiser, cut down fizzles on Badmir. We've committed a crime now. So, fair. Question, if you would tally hit a Bramble Familiar, can you cast Eventual? You absolutely can, yes. Oh. Isa. Lissa. Oh, yikes. Yes, you can. You absolutely can. Uh. Oh. Do that and pass the turn. Okay, that makes it good. Yeah, like Bramble Familiar was part of a combo deck. Uh, people don't really play it at the moment, but. Uh, there was a time when it was part of a combo deck. Yeah, you can attack the three. I'm gonna say no blocks. I assume draw a card and lose a life. Nope. Mother of Machines. Okay. Huh. Well, that's not very Jund. Is this Domain? Weird. Maybe it's actually Domain. Uh, we're gonna do... Tap this for a mana, talking in the end. Choose that, and then tap with our Field of Ruin here. Oh, what am I doing? Sorry. I'm gonna get rid of the long goodbye on the Gisa. We're gonna trigger Vadmir here. Resolve that. Hold priority on opponent's upkeep. No attacks. Pass the turn. Field of Ruin. Target the Cavern Souls. Trigger Vadmir. Trigger Gisa. Okay. Vadmir is a 5 5. I mean, two more Zombos. Grab a swamp, then the deck. And pass the turn to draw. Cool. Hogla and Yadara. Okay. What you gonna fight? Glad, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Norn can attack, like that's fine. It is a monkey. That is uh that is in fact a crime. Super thing's got haste. Oh, because the Elish Norn, right. Uh yeah, I kinda have to take the damage. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Can't really commit a crime here, but I I can Paravac. Uh, we've got a bunch of 3-3s. Three threes. I think I have to hold back the 3-3s three blocking. Uh, let's go ahead and pass there. Hey, what's going on, Valsa? How you doing, friend? Welcome in. I got a summon zero. Uh, when will the next MTGA standard be streamed on Twitch, like the pizza box one? Oh, that'll be happening tomorrow. That will be uh, happening tomorrow. Jund with Elish Norn. But yeah, how you doing tonight? What is trick that comes up is Caravac ignoring timing restrictions. Yeah, Caravac ignoring timing restrictions is nice. If our ordering of triggers was different, I could have gone ahead and done a um, deep cavern, like a cut down onto the geological appraiser. Is Godzilla in King? It, it is. It's true. It's, uh, it's monkey. Monkey C and the monkey do. Another Phyrexian? Sure. Hmm. Not so great on this one. 
my uh, my ETB of my deep camera bat is kind of shut off, so I can't really commit a crime with it. Kind of hoping we top deck a removal. None of this stuff has trample though, so like my my little army here can do some uh, stuff. But I'm looking for uh, another crime off the top of the deck. Because our little army of 3 3s could start uh, swinging in. Ooh. I think I, I kill Norn here, don't I? Or we just kill the monkey? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna use four blockers on the monkey in case they have a removal spell. All right, that's sweet. Uh, tiny bones is a little something. Ah, I would have loved a crime. I think I have to just play in the bat. The bat doesn't trigger because of Elderstorm, so I don't commit a crime here. However, it is a blocker up against the decadent dragon. Not that that functionally does a ton for me. But it's something. Uh, so Kenzin's fine. Okay, free strider. I'll put with another deck and a dragon too. Damn. I don't even remember what they stole from me in the first place. I kind of forget. Deck and a dragon probably attacks in here. Cut down always oh, cut down swamp, gotcha. Alright, I don't want to die. I really don't. I'm at four. Tiny bones, I need you to do some work for me. Not that I don't know if you will. Tiny bones, they stole my tiny bones. Alright, this is in fact a crime. I don't know if it saves me, I think we're still dead next turn. But we can't trigger anything because of ETBs, so that's kind of useless. We can attack with Tiny Bones. And then they just kind of trade. And then I think we're just dying. That's kind of crappy. Done to playing a single Elish Norn. Don't know how I feel about that. But the interesting way to go. Uh, we're going to go ahead and bring in hostile negotiation. Binding negotiation, though, for sure. Uh, I think we'll cut down a bad mirror and a long goodbye. And we'll bring in negotiation. But uh, we're definitely taking the play here. Negotiation, go for the throne, and care about Yes. Fantastic. I like going in negotiation into Karavak and then go for the throat, getting back the binding negotiation. I think I like that a lot. Top land, sure. Uh, what you playing, Apo? She holds her Zedek, Sword of Wealth, Nomada, and Glissa. Uh, yeah, that's cool. That's going. Let me just cast in Karabek here. Sword of Wealth and Power 2. That is interesting. No, you hit another Edict? Aww. Man. Right, Tiny Bones joins up. Man. I'm sad, chat. They hit the second Edict. They discarded a Kogla Yadaro. Phyrexian. Playing Klissa. Uh, I just want you dead. Uh, I just want it dead. Do 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 do. As the turn. I am the sad. Sword of Wealth and Power. That's fine. Takenuma, for Karavak, Deep Cavern Bat. Uh, 
We're gonna play in Karavak, force the mill here. And then I'm gonna cast a binding negotiation. Can't submit zero. That's cool, you can chain Karavax together. Yeah, Nomad is gone. Oh, the land, nice. Nice. Free Strider Lookout, that's cool. Half land, nice. Uh, I think I wanna do... Well, if you're Cavern Souls. I cast the go for the throat. Zero on that. And then we're gonna attack for three. And I'm actually gonna cast the deep cavern bat here to force that cut down out of the opponent's hand and submit zero. Because now they got nothing. Do we have uh, a cold broom yet? I don't know what that is. Sorry, Darth. Three past the turn. Land? Cool, cool. <gasps> Gisa! Selesnia Cat. Um, I don't think it's Selesnia Cat, is it? I'm gonna recast the cat from that. Aravac is a sweet engine. Oh, the dragon. Yes, the scorpion dragon. Sacrifice two creatures. No, I don't have a brew yet. I've been thinking about it. I wanted to get suggestions. Sorry. Yeah, no, the black, um, it's a scorpion dragon. Yeah, Caravac is kind of gross. Um, I can see where you, you, you chain climbs together as long as you pay them. Yeah, that's kind of redonks. But uh, yeah, let's get into game three. And we've got Tiny Bones into Vadimir into Gisa. I'm going to keep. I'm going to keep. We get the win. Cool. One land, why? If, like, this go for the throat was a land, I would keep. Still though, not a bad hand. Tiny Bones, Binding Negotiation, Longer Buy. No, it's the mirror match. Oh, this is horrendous. Oh no. Well, it's looking like the mirror. Yup, it is in fact the mirror match. Oh no. Can't cast it. Can't cast it. It could still be ske You're not wrong, that's true. It could be skeletons. I'm gonna take out the tiny bones before attacking. It is skeletons. All right, well, yeah, that was fine. I'm glad we took it out then. Uh, unfortunately though. I don't really have any plays. I'm gonna go for Binding Negotiation. Gisa, Skitter, Forsaken, Miner. Probably Gisa? But I don't need Spider Skitter. Ugh. Ah, maybe it should have been Gisa. Miner. Yeah, we're on this. I should have done the Binding Negotiation on turn two. Getting rid of Tiny Bones was a mistake. Getting rid of Tiny Bones was a mistake, chat. Oh. If I had have done the Binding Negotiation on turn two, I could have got rid of the Corpses of the Lost and we wouldn't be dealing with this right now. <laughs> Mistakes were made. That's the turn. I just don't, I don't, I go, is go for the throat even worth it? Bad 
Vladimir comes in. Hornet has to commit a crime. Yeah, I don't think they have the crime. We're going to deal with the miner here. This is going to let the corpses get bounced back, but I need to reduce some damage. I, I just, I need to reduce damage. Or at least for the turn. I don't know how I'm going to win this. I haven't decided that yet. But we'll... I will figure something out. It might just be me going to game two. Might just be going to game two and bringing him to Russell's. Let's come back in. Skelly. Yes, it should be a 5-6. I think it would be way too pushed if it was a 5-6. The 4-4 four, four body is fine. Hey, that's a go for the throw. Let's uh let's do that so they can't descend. Value. Let me explain the Mirax and pass the turn. Alright. I'm not dead yet. Not dead yet. I'm pretty close, but I'm not dead yet. And I can hold up the positive heroes to protect the Gisa. Tiny Bones joins up. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's a Forsaken Miner. Uh oh. I stand corrected. I'm looking pretty dead now. Damn it. Okay, I'm kind of dead. Like, feel the ruin. I think, yes, yeah. Alright, binding negotiation is coming in. Because we need to answer those skeletons. I'll bring in a couple duresses. Maybe like two of. Or we could do a split of 3-3. Three, three. Maybe cut a long goodbye, cut a skitter. Cut a bad, cut a tiny bones. And negotiation that. Oh yeah, I think it, yeah, you're right. Extract is better than duress. And we can still play the negotiation in. Extract is, yeah. Because extract can also hit a creature. Yeah, no for this situation. Uh got bat. I need a land. If we can hit our third land with Garavac down, we've got good potential. And also just like binding negotiation turn two. That may be the right play. Forsaken Miner. All right. I'm going to go for the negotiation see what I'm working with here. Corpse and that. Yeah, we're going to get rid of corpses. Because I can use Deep Cavern Bat now to take the, the geese out. Tiny Bones joins up. Oh, that's... Oh, that's what I'm even discarding here. Um, Death Touch, Plaza, go for the throat. I'm actually Deep Cavern Bat. Not a fan. Armadillo. Armadillo wouldn't do anything here, Spottles. Don't even. That line's fine. 17. Paravac. Like, they can attack. We can block the miner. Tiny Bones is gonna let them copy the bat. Which is whatever. That either takes go for the throat or Gisa. So. I feel like it has to be the go for the throat. Right? Because then I can just chain things together. Yeah. Do I have any crimes in the I have binding negotiation, actually. That's uh that is in fact a crime. Okay. 
So batter bat bat comes on in, grab this, cast it, hit you. Commit a crime. Goodbye. And no attacks. Now we're back and block tiny bones. Value. Oh yeah, we're going places now. No attacks. We just need to start committing crimes. Once we commit crimes, we're we're off to the races here. I'm off the top, maybe. That's the tiny bones. That's a legendary for tiny bones. Ah, that's a bad mirror. That's unfortunate. Who's the bad mirror? Sure, sure. Like, they can't attack with the bat. This is a crime, though. Is there anything I can actually do? Not a present. But. We still target. And we say, uh, no attacks and pass the turn. As I build up my army of committing crimes now since we have tiny bones. We just need to hit legendaries off the top. And then we're, we're going places. Yep, rat rat. There's a land. Don't think I risk doing anything with the Mirex. Yeah, I don't think I risk it. Well, that's a crime. Couple more. Nothing to copy. What you got? Is it a land? It's a cut down. Ah, uh, go. Uh, do I attack in? I think I do. I think we can just attack in for six damage here. That's the turn. I cannot protect uh, Gisa at the moment. Got their own Gisa. Make them tap though. Okay. That's fine. I don't even know that you attack in. Shoulder's mm, a way to stay alive. Trigger, trigger. Can't cast that. Make two more. Attacking for 12? And they all have Menace? Yeah, it's attacking for 12. We just put the pressure on them. What's a Grave Titan? Better Grave Titan. BBH. Yeah, they go to four. Tiny Bones is gone. They heal. Oh, maybe I should have attacked him with everything. Shelly would have pinged them down. Did I miss lethal? No, I didn't. No, we're good. We didn't miss lethal. No, we're good. We didn't miss lethal. We're fine. We get game two. Okay. Uh, cool. Let's get into game three. Oh, actually, like Mulligan would be fine. Uh... Uh, okay. That's, uh, that's a hand. Tiny Bones joins up. Damn it. Uh, extract the truth or but extract the truth. Okay. Uh, that's a land. Uh, just had to be Tiny Bones joins up. Toe to toe here. Bitch out the case. Okay. Vadmir, all right. That is in fact a crime. That's a cut down, that's fine. That's a go for the throat. Um, 
I think I have to take the damage from Vadimir for the turn so I can find a negotiation and stop the corpse. Yep. Yeah, we take out corpse of the lost there. Okay. I like how this is a pseudomir. It it's true, it is. We're still taking damage here. I I will represent I'm not a fan of this. But so we go to 15 on this attack. Do I cast out Lord Skitter next turn? So they pay a life, they draw a card. Do I cast out Lord Skitter this turn? That's a question. Otherwise, I Caravac. And if they don't have the go for the throat, we have a potential lineup to take out both Vlad and Yogg. I think I have to start with Skitter. With Skitter, I can use to trade on Gix. Kill the Lily, that's actually really good. I'm gonna eat the corpse. Okay. The throw for the throw can line up to take out Vlad. Mm, that's close. Like bad, bad punches in. Bad punches in. And I go to ten. I think that always happens. We don't block. Go for the throw. Can take out Vad, and hopefully we can set up things with Caravac to recast to take out the Gix. I know what they draw. I don't know. Let's uh let's pull some two cards in. One's a land. That's fine. Ninety bones. I don't like it. I don't like it. Five minus five. Ooh, that's bat. Damn. Bat actually would have been kind of insane off the top. Awkward. Mm, I don't like it. I need a two. And we bat would have actually been insane off the top. No blocks. We go to eight. Thanks. I hate it. <laughs> Uh, go for the throw? No, no, I can't. Like a rat. Got no attacks and pass. I'm sad I have to use the Lord Skitter to block the stupid tiny bones. I really don't like it. I really don't like this. I don't like this. I think this is like the only way I manage to stay alive, though. Go for the throat. Just don't have the go for the throat. Things get so much worse for me if you have it in so many bad ways. <laughs> in so many bad ways if they've got it. I mean, if they have it, yeah, they We at least take out Vlad. I've got the Tiny Bones for the turn. I can take out Tiny Bones at least. So Caravac. Trigger the mill. This has to be... Uh, actually, I could Deep Cavern Bats. I could uh, Deep Cavern Bats here. I think that's maybe the play. Because I can use the Deep Cavern Bats to block the Tiny Bones. Yeah, alright, let's do that. And some zero, because I can't cast anything else. We mill the go for the throw. That's relevant. That is, that is relevant. Hopefully they hit a land off the top. Please tell me it's just a land. Oh, it's a Vadmir. I make a ton of stupid decks that, like somehow work. Hey, what's going on Taco Division? Welcome and happy Saturday. How you doing, friend? I mean, stupid decks are fun. Oh, just be for me. 
All right, we're back to six. Mirex. Uh, Tiny Bones joins up. Yes. Keep this one. Crime. Uh, it's a three, three, and a three, three. Three, three, and a three, three. Damn it. Uh, go for the throat. I have to get rid of that stupid thing. I'm going to go to two, and I don't like this. I don't think I have a choice. Oh. Actually, what do they have in their graveyard? Bugger. Lord Skitter, I guess? I'm going to two. I don't like this. I can't make any more crimes. I have to just mill them and do the best I can. I need life gain here. What tags? Oh gosh. <laughs> I need life. What an awkward situation we're in. If I can get Gisa, maybe we're we're back in this. Okay, off I'll have to land. Well, that's a land, that didn't help me. Okay, we'll commit another prime. I'll take the Vadmir. I am not paying two life. <laughs> uh I don't know, a bunch of rats. I don't think I attack with Lord Skip. We're going in. Passing the turn. I'm so dead in so many ways. Oh, goodness. Okay, it's another land. If we top deck a removal. Uh, do I feel the real in the talking new and just try to not? Do I just try to mess up their draws? I think I do. I think I do. I'm gonna try to thin our deck, and I'm gonna hope this gets me a good draw. It's all about deck thinning here. That's that's the plan. Don't ask me how, don't ask me why, don't ask me what to happen long, goodbye, yes! It worked! It worked! We're going places! I'm gonna grab the gigs. Yeah, I'm not attacking, I am, I am not attacking. Skitter is staying back. We are, we are keeping these back. We are going. Dragonons, thank you so much for sticking around to the end of the video. This was an insane set of games. So much value deriving. And I got to say, Binding Negotiation, Karavak coming in, all the extra copies, Geese is showing up too. Amazing value. I'm so excited about this deck. And anyways, Dragonons, once again, thank you so much for sticking around. Hope you enjoyed the video and as always keep reading i'll catch you next time